I got another big idea. I just love coming up with different things to uh, make videos for. <laughs> different ideas. All right, this one's called Rockin' Around the World. I'm gonna do a rock and roll rhythm figure in all 12 keys using the circle of fourths. So the rock and roll rhythm pattern is this. Let's make sure you understand what that is. I'm doing an E5, that's your low E, and this B. I'm playing eighth notes like this, which you count one and two and three and four and. And then on the uh, two and four beat, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. On, and the two and the four is where I'm gonna add my ring finger on the sixth interval. So it's an E5 to an E6. Make sure you got that under control. Assuming that we know that, that's pretty cool, but now I'm gonna jump you from E to A to D to G, move to C, then next is F, followed by B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B, which kicks you back to E. That's a circle of fourths, and oh heck, let's use a metronome. I'm gonna turn my machine on here. Let's go with, uh, let's keep her kind of medium, like 66. One, two, here I go. A. D. G. C. Can't resist, let's crank it up to 83. Two, same thing, ready, go. A minute. Let's go to one twenty eight, two, three, four. One twenty eight. Let's go to one seventy three. Ready, go. Boy, I regret that. That was too fast. <laughs> uh, that didn't feel great. So whatever tempo you can do, make sure you got that basic thump and rock and roll rhythm started. I've got a PDF of this if you want. Um, I just love going through that. It just keeps me kind of limber, knowing the fourth of each chord. The fourth of E is A, the fourth of A is D, the fourth of D is G, and the fourth of G is C, and so forth. That means the fourth note in an E major scale is A, the fourth note in an A major scale is D, the fourth note in a D major scale is G. 
and it just keeps going until you get back to E, which is satisfying. It's kind of like a puzzle, a skill test. Um, if you can do that, it's cool. You'll find that in songs, the fourth happens a lot. You know, if you're if you're playing an E chord, you're like, what what do I add to that? What's the most common thing? What's gonna follow an E chord? What you know, I have no idea. Or do you? Yeah, it's the fourth. That's that's one of the most common guesses. If you guess or bet on that, you'll win a lot. I mean, it could be any chord. But in common usage, that's kind of how I measure this stuff. What is commonly used. And uh, the fourth is kind of the winner. The fifth would be another good uh, guess you could do this in opposite direction for some reason I really like the sound of the fourths the fifths are fine but uh, I just don't really do them very much I should probably investigate that all right this is Brooke Hoover saying thank you so much for uh, supporting my channel and following along and uh, go ahead and play along with the videos if you can if you have any questions or you get frustrated let me know I appreciate the comments you leave uh, I read them all and uh, try to respond to them. So there you go. I'm going to get uh, doing some other stuff now. So uh, I'll just say goodbye and uh, peace out.